Hey guys, and welcome. My name is Void Crumbs, and today we'll be looking at the Smoke Bomb and Ghost of Tashima's Legends mode. We're not talking about legendary items, just epics. Rares and uncommons should not be used at all late game because they either don't have a perk spot or both property spots. Base weapon explained. The Smoke Bomb is one of three ghost weapons that can be equipped in Ghost Weapon Slot 2. It has a base cooldown of 120 seconds, and its base effect is to create an area of smoke at your location. It takes about a half a second to use the Smoke Bomb. You place it right underneath where your character is standing. The smoke bomb lasts on the ground for about 12 seconds. If you stand in the smoke, no enemies will see you or aggro onto you. You can stand in the smoke and use any ranged weapon and they will not aggro. They just stand there and take the hits. You can also leave the smoke bomb and the enemies will start to aggro, but if you go back into the smoke bomb, they lose sight of you. Normal enemies will stop their attack animation if you smoke bomb. Some Oni attacks will just keep going until they are done, or some will stop when they lose sight of you. You can get three assassinations or critical strikes if you do them and then go back into the smoke bomb. Using a smoke bomb is enough time to revive someone. Enemies will stand on the edge of the smoke bomb. Even if you use it right on top of them, they will leave the smoke and go to the edge. The possible properties you can roll are stealth attack damage, cooldown reduction, stealth, and cooldown reduction on kill. So let's talk about these properties. For stealth attack damage, the property reads, increased damage of stealth attacks. So any critical strike will deal more damage and increase the total amount of damage so some enemies may go from a critical strike to an assassination with this property. No other ghost weapon can roll this property. Can roll 10 to 25%. For cooldown reduction, the property reads, reduce the base cooldown on this weapon. This added bonus is only effect on this ghost weapon. Cooldown reduction is good to get more smoke bombs off. Can roll 8 to 15%. For stealth, the property reads, while in stealth, enemies take longer to detect you. Good for stealthy gameplay style, or just to have a slightly more grace period while in stealth. Can roll 10 to 20. For cooldown on kill, the property reads, any kill reduces the cooldown on this weapon. This is good, but once you're on Nightmare where kills don't happen as often, it can be rough. Still a very good property though. Can roll 1 to 4 seconds. Perks. The possible perks you can roll are Lucky, Munitions, Sudden Resolve, and Black Powder. So let's talk about these perks. For Lucky, the perk reads, 15% chance to instantly reset cooldown on use. Not great odds and relying on chance in a heated situation are rough. Double procs can be nice, but the chance is low. For Munition, the perk reads, creates random ammo pickups on use. Great to get arrows, darts, and bombs back. And everybody in the party can pick these drops up. You have to have less than one resolve to benefit from Sudden Resolve. For Black Powder, the perk reads, when the smoke bomb detonates, nearby enemies are thrown backwards. Can't affect Onis. For people who are not going to assassinate when they smoke bomb and just use ranged attacks, this can be good. But enemies still run out of the smoke bomb anyway, so this perk seems kind of useless. Overview. This is my opinion, and certain builds really need certain rolls to really shine. But I believe the best rolls on the properties for the smoke bomb are anything but stealth. Stealth just doesn't seem to be that good over any of the other properties. Stealth attack damage is great if you're doing crits or assassinations often. Cooldown reduction can be good to get more smoke bombs off. Cooldown on kill is good if you're getting a lot of kills in your party as it's 3 recharging time for you. Best roll for the perk on smoke bomb is munitions. Everybody in the party can get ammo from this. It's very good for people who use their ammo very quickly. And in Nightmare where you have to hit the ghost offering to get ammo while fire spirits are shooting at you, it can be rough so this kind of saves you from needing those as often. Lucky is too low of a chance to consider. Sudden Resolve is good for the people that want to use it after spending Resolve for the free charge. Black Powder is okay for the normal enemy knockback, but it seems kind of bad unless I am overlooking something here. Ideal role would be an epic smoke bomb with high property percents and what you're wanting to do with this ghost weapon, or one high property percent in the perk you want. You want to strive to reforge a 2 out of 3 so you can reforge the last property or perk you're missing to have a monster of a smoke bomb. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you learned something or had your eyes open to some of the effects in smoke bomb. If you want a certain piece of gear fully explained, let me know in the comments. See you in the next guide.